right, guys, we're going to get started. Um, I appreciate you guys coming in, um, and today we're going to be talking about customizing in CamWorks, and by doing so, it's going to be adding machine into your database so that the CamWorks can speak directly to your machine of what exactly you have out on the shop floor, so that when you post out a CamWorks um, with, with your code, it will actually match up with the machine and speak its own language. So today we're going to be talking about um, inserting a post file into the database, creating a new machine, setting your default post and other settings that, that are in with creating a new machine, setting up the tool crib, and creating a new template for the specific machines. So to get into it, um, what is a machine in CamWorks? So uh, the machine inside of CamWorks is kind of like a preset data that represents the machine on the floor. So that you say you have like a Haas machine out on the floor and you want to make sure that all of your settings are it feeds and speeds, um, your post, your spindle speed, feed rates and everything are matched for your actual machine. We can actually set up all that stuff within CamWorks so that when you post out, everything will, will be able to talk to um, your machine without any issues. So this includes machine specific settings and customized posts as well. So where are these machines stored? The technology database, so it's a Microsoft Access based database. So it uses Microsoft Access for the database. So inside the database you have all your machines, all your tools, all your posts, your feeds and speeds. Um, so like your specific tools that you use for pretty much everything so you can put in your custom tools your custom machines it has pretty much everything that's in there so how to how do we create a custom machine I'm gonna show you that in just a minute but basically what you do is you just go into the technology database and you create a new record and from there you apply all of its settings including your post information your spindle speed and all that fun stuff we're gonna get over to that in just a second so the last thing is what is a post so a post is basically a kind of a link between um, the language that your machine uses and the CamWorks language. So it kind of translates the CAM data into the machine's language. And mainly it's not really dependent on the actual machine itself. It's dependent on the controller because the controller is what actually controls the machine to run. So we're, we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to convert the CamWorks data to be able to speak with the controller so that the machine knows exactly what it needs to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hop over into our sol our um, CamWorks. So to, once we're in CamWorks, I'm going to go up and we're going to start a new document to get to our technology database. So we can get to our technology database just by starting a new document or going through the start menu. So you can see in my CamWorks tab up at the top, I have technology database here. We can also go into the start menu, go to all programs, CamWorks 2016 technology database, and we can open it here. Once it's open, this is what it looks like. So we have our mill, our turn, our mill turn, EDM, tooling, feed speeds, maintenance, and internet links. Pretty much the things you really need to know about are pretty much the machines that you're going to be using, like the mill, the turn, stuff like that. Also, one thing I really want to point out is the units themselves. So you can see here we have a database for inches and a database for metric. So if you're using a specific one, go in there, change it to make sure that you're applying the settings in the correct database. The Even even if I apply a machine in inches, it, it's not necessarily going to translate over into metric. So we're going to leave it in inches, and we're going to go in, and if we have a mill machine, in this case, I'm going to show you how to set up a mill machine. So we're going to go into the mill machine, we have features and operations in a machine. In this case, we're just going to click right on machine. And then we have all of these parameters here. So we have our mill machine parameters. Um, you can see at the top, we have a default machine. This default machine setting is that when you start a new document inside of CamWorks, it automatically defaults to using this machine. So this is going to be nice if you just have one specific machine that you're using. You can just set it to be the default so every time you start a new document or you're working in a document and then you open up CamWorks to to start uh, putting on your toolpaths, it will automatically grab in this machine and all of its data. So you can see in the general tab we have like the machine name, the machine ID, the machine description, we have it, the post processor that it's using, and the duty. So the duty pretty much is kind of like a good way to represent the feeds and speeds based on um, like how heavy duty the machine is. So if it's a light duty, it might 
it might just go a little bit slower, you know, stuff like that. So this stuff you can set up on your own. We're going to be talking about the post processor and how to set up the default post processor. Um, the, in the specifications tab, you have um, these four different things here. So in our general, you have like your horsepower and your indexing. Um, and then your table travel. This is going to be really nice because when you're working inside of SolidWorks documents or in CamWorks, and you're you put on all your tool paths, and all your tool paths may actually go outside of your table travel. In CamWorks, it'll tell you, "Hey, look, you know your tool paths go outside of your travel. We need to modify this a little bit." So that's definitely something that's really nice to have. And then in the feed rate section, so you have like your max feed rate, your max acceleration. Um, pretty much all these numbers in here help you with the CamWorks estimated machine time. So CamWorks can actually estimate your machine time based on all of your feed rates, your acceleration, and stuff like that. So if you put in really accurate numbers for what your machine can do, your estimated machine time is going to be really close to what it's actually going to do. Um, if you just throw in random numbers, obviously it's not going to be really close. So this is this can be really important. Um, the turret tab is mainly used for the tool crib so you can get in and you can kind of adjust your tool cribs or set up your tool cribs in this tab another thing is tool crib priority so if you're always using a specific tool crib you can go in and say use crib priority so that when when camwork starts grabbing tools f to use for these tool paths it will actually look inside the tool crib and say okay which tools can i actually use that are in here um, for for these tool paths. So we're going to talk about that. Um, there's also another setting in CamWorks that we're going to be getting into. So we're going to I'll show you that in a little bit. The spindle. So in here you just have your max spindle RPM um, up to down to just some little bit more uh, settings in here. You can look at that on your own. Um, in the setup tab, this is mainly for if you have like four axis or five axis index indexing. Um, in this case, the machine that we're going to be setting up does not have that, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, so to create a new machine, first what I want to do is, because we're, we, we know we're going to be putting in another post processor, I want to set up my post processor before I do any of this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to my desktop. And what I have over here is I have and MSRC3. It's just a post that I grabbed or that we had laying around um, that's like a Haas machine. So if, if, if CAD Dimension sends you a post, it's going to look like this. It's going to come into a zip file. So if you have custom posts or posts that we sent you for your machine and your setup, um, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to come in with this zip file. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and just extract it. We're going to extract all right to the desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of the contents, right click and we're going to copy, and we're going to put it in the post that CamWorks is looking for. So we're in this location, we're going to go to our C drive, we're going to go to CamWorks data, CamWorks 2016, and then post. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to paste everything in here. So let me just find an open spot here, hit paste. And we have all of those in here. So now that, that that is taken care of, we can go back into the technology database, create a new machine, and we'll be able to pick this Haas post directly from the technology database. So we're going to go back over here. And at the very bottom, we have our records down here. You can see, so I can go to the next record. So we have a mil inch, we have a mil four axis inch, and a mil five axis inch. So in this case, I'm going to start a new record. And our machine name is going to be a Haas get the none out of here. I'm just going to call it host in this case. So the machine ID, you could have it be like one, two, three, four. In this case, I'm just going to label it Haas again, put in no description. But in here, um, we should see our um, Haas post, but we actually do not. Let me make sure that it is a CTL form. We may have to, uh, because we had this open, we may have to just close this down, reopen it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, just to make sure that that's in there. So we're going to go back into our mill, our machine, go back in, go to our last record. We have our Haas, and now you can see that the Haas CTL is in there. So because I had it open, it didn't actually apply the settings. We needed to close down out of the technology database for that to stick in here. 
So in this case, we can go into our specifications. It's like a 50 horsepower machine. I'm not really gonna mess with any of these accelerations um, or the feed rates or, or table. I'm just gonna kind of leave it as default. Um, we can specify the default machine, but maybe it's not our default machine. And I'll show you how to work with that in a little bit. So now we have that machine set up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into um, Camworks. We're gonna close this down. We're gonna exit out of here. And we're now back in Camworks. So you can see if we edit the definition of our machine, and you can see I just have my my uh, feed and speeds library is not installed. Not a big deal. If I install it, I wouldn't get this error message. Um, so what we're going to do is we now have all these machines in here. And what's what's happening is we don't see the Haas yet because we still need to refresh Camworks. So in all scenarios, we do need to close on out of Camworks for, um, for it to see so. So we're going to go fire up SolidWorks again. All right, so now we're going to turn in the add-in on for Camworks because I do not have it turned on for FireUp. All right, we're going to go ahead and open up a new part. All right, I'm going to see my Camworks tabs. We're going to open up our machine. Um, and I don't actually see the metric machine in here because we're looking at, we have our metric template set up. So if we go in and select on inch pounds seconds and we go back into our machine, we will see that the Haas is there. We can select on it. So now you can see in our post processor, it's already using that Haas post. If we go into our tool crib, like we talked about a little bit earlier, there is a tool crib priority. So we can go in and say, okay, if we're using something that's in this tool crib, please use it. But in this case, we don't have anything in this tool crib. So I can select on something. So I pick on a crib three that has Haas in it and I can say tool crib priority so that when it's going to grab tools to use for the tool paths, it will actually look at what tools it can use in here. All right, last but not least, we're going to talk about um, setting up your templates or setting up what's going on. So in this case, you can see when I start a new I'm going to cancel out of this, and I'm just going to start a new file here. Um, so when I go in, you'll see that it, it automatically defaults to... Oh, I'm going to move this over just a little bit. It automatically defaults to mill metric. So what if I wanted to always have the Haas one on? So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this back to inch pounds. We're going to edit the definition. We're going to have on Haas select. So what we could do is we could go back into the technology database and we could set up the Haas to be our default machine. But maybe we only want the Haas to be for, for inch or whatever. So what I can actually do is I can do file save as on this. And I'm going to do a part template. And this template that I'm using is going to be called, oops, change the file name. for It changed the file type for me. So part template. The name I'm going to change to. Haas inch, right? And when we save this, we're, once we close this down and we go to file new and we have Haas inch, when we open this up, it's going to be in an inch unit and it is going to have our machine be the Haas machine. So if you have multiple machines or multiple variations of like axes or, or, you know, maybe you have like, you want to have it set up for four axes or whatever instead of having just one default machine, you can set up these different templates so that it, it um, automatically looks for that specific machine type. So say you're you're importing a file and you know you want to use the Haas. Instead of opening, opening up your template that has the default machine of something else and then changing it to a Haas, you can just set up these templates so that it pulls in um, the, the correct machine every single time. And I think that's about it for uh, our presentation today. Um, we talked about everything we wanted to. Do you guys have any questions for me? Uh, I'm going to stay around for a little bit. Please let me know if you do. And if you do not, thank you very much for staying tuned and, and listening to me talk today. But we're going to be here to answer any questions. Thank you. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.